Hi, my name is Samar Khalid Hassan from Jordan. I'm a pharmacist by education, a quality professional by training, and a patient safety advocate by instinct. So my area of work is um, in Healthcare Accreditation Council. I'm responsible and heavily engaged in developing standards, evaluating and training against those standards uh, to improve the quality and patient safety of healthcare institutions. And I'm also responsible for developing toolkits and checklists to help those institutions bridge the gap and improve uh, the healthcare quality and the service they provide to patients. It was actually by chance. So part of my work is to review updated literature and um, updated guidelines, toolkits on patient safety and quality. And I came across um, the apps, the actionable patient safety solutions uh, that are developed by the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. Um, and that led me to check the website of the foundation. And I got to know that there is a fellowship program, their first program for the fellowship. And I was really interested and I thought, why not? Um, and I'm honored to be selected among five across the world and to be the only one representing Asia. Um, it was a real, uh, it was really exciting to be selected and accepted into the program. And since then, uh, the journey has been really rewarding and fulfilling. So at the start of the program, um, we were able to select and identify a main, uh, let's say, challenge or problem in our country and work towards improving that problem. Uh, and my area of focus was antimicrobial resistance. As it is a global problem, it's for sure reflected in my country. Um, and I was then able to untangle the problem and tease out the main barriers and the main challenging areas that we need to focus upon. And throughout my work, I worked with uh, policymakers, I worked with healthcare professionals, and I worked with the community and patients in order to understand the root causes of the problem. Uh, and then we focused on the stewardship program, antimicrobial stewardship program within hospitals, and we were able to evaluate the availability of the core elements of the program. We were able to pinpoint the main areas that needs action and needs improvement. We were able to identify the main barriers that prevent the effective implementation of the program. And we're looking forward for the next step. We will be able to make collaborative quality improvement um, projects and actions among healthcare professionals across uh, hospitals in different sectors. Um, and that is really exciting because we will be able to uh, tackle the few, the vital few challenges and address the main issues that will help us see improvement on the ground, hopefully. And also, I think beside the project, the improvement project that we've worked on, um, the fellowship journey was really colorful, diverse, and rich. Um, we were just immersed in different activities. I was able to present in patient safety summits. I was able to moderate a webinar. I was also invited to be um, a panelist in a, um, a webinar with key experts in the field. So that was really rewarding experience and I'm grateful for that opportunity. Well, I think I'm gonna quote my colleague in the fellowship program. She always says that um, when you think you know something, about, when you think the more you think you know about a subject, the less you actually know, because at every fellowship meeting, we discuss different topics and different concepts. And at the end of that meeting, <laughs> we realized that we need to really dig deep into that concept. And there is a, um, a sea of information that we need to really discover and we need to really learn. So I think the main thing is that 
we are we will always be learners and we need to maintain that thirst for knowledge the uh, fellowship provided us with the opportunity to meet key experts in the field and um, they've always treated us like peers uh, we had the ability to discuss things with them to openly um, challenge concepts and theories and to ask questions about different topics. And they were always encouraging and open and provided support. Uh, there's also that aspect of learning about the different cultures. I mean, um, the fellowship uh, in this program, uh, there was five of us and we have continued throughout this journey together. And we've learned that even though we're geographically different, we have so much in common. There's so much similarities within the different countries, same challenges, same problems. And um, there's always um, this a different context to the problem, but the actions that we need to be done are applicable all over the world. And that was really eye-opening and that was um, what brought us closer in the fellowship, I guess. Yeah, there are many, many of them actually. But one of my favorite topics was um, the human factor engineering because it made me look, uh, it made me look at um, systems in a different way. Uh, we've always looked at the healthcare provider as main as the main issue that needs to be fixed. But actually, the system most of the time is prone to error. You need to look at the processes. You need to look at the workflow. You need to look at um, how you place humans in their work and to understand that if it's easy to make error, then harm will occur and error will occur. And you need to look at the system and understand that you need to make it, to make it easier to do the right thing and more difficult to do the wrong thing. Um, so that really analysis of a system and a process was exciting for me and uh, it made me look at things from a different perspective. I think we've learned a lot from different um, industries like the aviation industry and that and how it ref it can be reflected into healthcare and how it can be translated into actionable solutions for healthcare problems. I think that was exciting. We've learned about um, adverse events management, incidents reporting, safety too. That was new for me as a concept. We've learned about reliability theory. Uh, we've learned a lot of things. And as I said, the more you learn, the more you realize that you need to, yeah, that you don't know yet and you need to learn more and more. And uh, it's opened many doors for knowledge for us. Um, they, the committee, of the fellowship, we're thankful for them because they've shared so many valuable resources. Uh, I'm thankful for the board of directors and I'm thankful for Dr. Peter Lachman for his mentor, uh, for mentoring us throughout the process and for his guidance. So there were a lot of moments um, and I think the journey doesn't stop. Uh, as a fellow, we will continue uh, working towards um, preventing avoidable harm and working, uh, working towards improving healthcare quality and attaining patient safety. So um, it's been an incredible experience and I'm really thankful for the journey.